In the last video, I showed you how to set up your WordPress site. Um, that included um, setting up some basic WordPress settings as well as installing a theme, um, getting your Google Analytics set up. There's a lot of different steps. Um, it's okay if it seems overwhelming. Um, it's important that you get these things done early so that you can focus on the content. The content is what's going to actually bring you the traffic. So you're just setting yourself a foundation by getting all of these settings ready to go so that your content can just be created and you don't have to worry about settings hereafter. In this video, I want to show you how to uh, manipulate, how to set up Akabato if you already have an existing website that you want to put Akabato on, or if you're someone who's setting up your site for the very first time and you use the one click demo import, I just still want to show you how to uh, manipulate some of the settings so that you understand how to change things in the theme. Um, you will have preferences uh, for your site that you will want to you know, make something look different than how it was def by default. And so this is going to help you understand how to do that. So you can see here on my page, I am on the home page of my website, uh, the same site I was working on last time. And if you remember, it sh I showed that um, the one click demo import added this logo, it added some things in the menu, it added your posts for you, it added this stuff in the sidebar. I'm gonna show you how to change those things or to add those things if you're doing it for the first time so that you will have a better understanding of how to work your own site. So you're gonna go up to the top left hand corner and click the name of your site. It's going to bring you to the back end dashboard. And the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to set up um, the home page. The Akabato theme is compatible with a page builder. A page builder is something that makes you, allows you to have a very custom design. For now, you probably don't need something super custom, but in the future, you might want to be able to customize things a little bit. So the way we're going to set your home page is you're going to go to your left-hand menu. You're going to go to Pages. Click All Pages. And as you scroll through, you'll probably see a couple different things here. And there should be a page called Home. If there's not already a page called Home, then what you'll do is you'll go back to the sidebar and then look under All Pages and you'll click Add New. Once your page loads, you're going to, in the title portion of the page right here where it says Add Title, you're just going to type Home. That's all you're going to do, and then you're going to press Publish. Now what this is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to have a page called Home that will be able to be changed and updated and um, made very custom to something that you want. So press Publish, or if you already have a page that says Home, just leave it how it is until the next step. All right, now that you have your page that's titled Home, you're going to go to your sidebar menu, click on Settings, and in one of the sub-menus, you're going to see uh, what says Reading. Click on Reading, and it will bring you to your Reading Settings page. And you're going to click, or it may also already be set this way, you're going to say that you want a static home page, and that you want the home page to be the page you just created called home. You're going to leave it that it says you want blog posts on your page and then however many um, blog pages you want to show on your page um, and then you can after you set these settings just click save changes. Now maybe you get to this page and it, all those settings are already there correctly that's just fine just leave it how it is. So then what that allows you to do is it allows you to have this page that I showed you here. Um, this custom page right here with a sidebar and all of your blog posts that you've written. The next thing that I'm going to show you how to do is in the Akabato menu. So here again, you're going to click up in the right or the top left hand corner, the name of your site, go down on the sidebar menu to Akabato settings. So you're gonna see here, if you hover over Akabato settings, that you have all of these different settings that you can set up. And we're just gonna go through them one by one so I can help you understand what you can do to customize your site. So I'm just gonna click Akabato settings. And the first setting here at the top is your logo. So you remember the logo page that we had. I'll go there. So your first option is to 
edit a logo or to add or change a logo. And so you'll do that here under general Akabato settings. Um, you can see here optimal size for a logo is 480 pixels in width and between 120 and 480 pixels in height. That's something that uh, you're going to want to have is a logo. That's something we're going to talk a little bit more about in another video about where you can actually get a logo. But here's where you'll change it. The next thing that you can do is add a little favicon. And you'll see up here on the URL bar, this is what a little favicon is. It will show these little images here. And you can add one of uh, a favicon of your choice here. Um, other things that you can do is you can enable some of these other settings. Um, for now, I think we should just leave these be. The more time you spend on your website, the more you're going to understand the settings. The more time you'll be able to have um, to work through some of these settings and understand what they do. Um, but for now, we'll just leave the rest of these general settings. All right, the next thing we want to do is we're just going to go to the home page. Um, menu item here on the, the left sidebar menu. We're going to look at the home page settings. These are going to be the most important visual settings that you're going to want to change. So you can see here up here there's the note that says a page named home with home as the slug must be created before these settings will take effect. You remember we went and created that page called home and then push publish so that these uh, settings that we work with here on this page will take effect on that page that you created. All right, so we have the option here to display a hero section. Um, and what we can do is put in um, some text here. Main text goes here to engage people, um, read more, and then there's links. So you can see here on our front page, there's no hero section yet. So I'm gonna set one up here. So I have my copy, I have my button text, and then I, want, I need a link, so what I'll do is I'm going to go choose a blog post that I want to link to and that I kind of want to highlight at the top of my page. I'm going to copy it, Command C, I'm going to paste it in and then I can add a hero image. Now right now I don't have any images that will, oh I have one, perfect. So I can add a hero image and then I can click update and then when I go back to my home page, you can see that it adds this big, nice image across the top with your custom text. And when I click the read more button, it will take me to the actual article um, that I put the link into. So this just makes a really nice visual experience on your home page for your user. And this is something you easily customize here on this page. All right, the next thing that we're going to add now that we have our big hero image is we can display featured tiles. Now what these tiles look like is it'll go right under the large image we just created. They're going to kind of go in this area here and push the rest of the content down. And you can have two to six of these tiles. So you can see here there's already some um, default um, blocks here. I'm just going to use these for now so I can show you what they look like. But here you'd put in um, what text you want on the tile, you would put what page you want to link to, so you just go find the URL of the page and then you will add an image. Now right now you don't have any content to link to, but if you do have that demo content then you can link to there. So we're going to click update and then let's refresh this page and you can see that it added some tiles for us. Now I did make a mistake and I did click to add a fourth tile that I don't actually want so I'm just going to remove it. Then I'm going to click update, go back to my home page, refresh the page and you see that I have my nice three tiles here. Now this is such a cool opportunity. You can, if you're doing different reviews, product reviews, if you want to highlight your contact page or your about me page that you're going to build, this is a great place to do it. And you can see it just gives it a nice custom look, more custom than just a page like this, just like a regular old blog post. So it just looks really nice. Scrolling down here after you do that, uh, you can choose to display only certain types of posts in the blog roll. I'll show you what the blog roll is. So here where it shows all your most recent posts, that's called your blog roll. 
And so here you can choose which article types to display in your blog roll. If you only want to display a certain type, then you can set that setting here. Okay, a couple other settings that we're gonna look at. Let's go back to the sidebar menu here on the left-hand side, and we're gonna click sidebar. And what's going to be edited here is the sidebar on your homepage. So you can see here, this is your sidebar where your About Us content is, the legal info, some ad placement boxes. So you can see here the About Us, um, the About header text. So I have my text here, the image that you just saw, and then my About copy. That's all right here, and it just makes it look really nice. Um, you can also edit or put in your own legal information if you're gonna be a part of any affiliate. Um, uh, groups or anything like that, you can put that in here. Generally speaking, we want to leave the sidebar fairly open going forward just because that's where your ads are eventually going to go. Um, that's going to be a way you can monetize in the future. But that is where you'll edit these sidebar features here. Uh, the last place that we're going to look at, uh, maybe not quite the last, there's a couple more actually that I want to show you, um, are these um, SEO settings. Now, in the last video, we did do a little bit on this page. Um, you see here we did our site title. You can add a site description if you'd like. We also entered our Google Analytics codes, which is going to allow us to track our visitors. Um, and then again, you can choose to enable or disable certain types of reviews or certain types of blog posts. And if you're not really sure if you want to use them, just enable it. And when you go to create a post, you're going to have a little bit of an idea what additional schema or formatting it will add for you. Um, so those are good settings there. And then I think the last one here that we'll look at is footer. So on this menu, or if you look here on our homepage, we have a little bit of a footer menu is what it's called, or a footer. And here you can see that we have this footer ad right here. And that's what this shows right here. So eventually you'll have ads and that's going to allow you to um, make ad placements for that. One thing that I forgot to mention, another thing is the menu. Now, the menu is something that you'll want to build out eventually. Um, a lot of people going forward are going to find your site organically through Google search. And so there's a good chance they don't even see your homepage, but it's good to have a menu structure um, for those people who do find your site and want to go look at the homepage. So the place you're going to do that is you're going to go to the sidebar menu on the left in the back end of your site, hover over appearance, and then go down to menus. And once that page loads, <clears throat> you're going to see where there's a tab that says edit menus. And then right below that, you need to choose what menu you want to edit. So right now I'm looking at the footer menu, which is this menu down here that says privacy policy about us and sitemap. So you'll see that these boxes correlate with what's in our footer menu. And you can add different links. So these are all the pages that are on your site and that you can add to your menu. So if I wanted to add the contact page, my contact page to my footer menu, I would just click the box, click add to menu, and then it's going to add it to your menu. And then you can click save menu. And after your menu saves, go back to your front page, click refresh, and here you go. Now your contact page is there. So that's how you edit the menus. You go to appearance, menus, and then this is, we just edited the footer menu. If you wanna edit uh, your top menu at the top of the page, that's called your primary menu. So you'll click primary, click select, and you'll see that it brings up all of the options for your header or primary menu. So let's take a look at that. So if I click menu, you can see here I have my informational page, full width page, my blog, which has a lot of sub items and the about us, which has a sub item. So you can see here that I have my information page, full width page, blog, and then you'll see how these are a little bit offset. These are all the sub items of blog. And so you can add, if you want to add, you can do what we did before where you check the box, click add to menu, or 
if you want to change the URL, if you want to remove an item from the menu, you just click this little down arrow and then click remove or edit any of the info there. After you do all this with your menu, just make sure that you always click save menu and then it will update for you. That covers most of the settings for the Akabato homepage and the Akabato theme in general. It may seem overwhelming, but I promise you this is so much more simple than most themes and it makes it a lot easier for you as the user so that you don't have to worry about way more settings. Um, you're gonna learn more about customizing this theme and customizing your site as you go, but don't spend all your time fretting over making it look just perfect yet because the content is what's going to bring you the value. All right, I think you're ready to go. Your website is set up and I think you're ready for the next lesson.